All right, guys, so we have the CZP10C in flat dark earth here. Um, this is a custom, this is a very custom gun that we had made. Um, I say very custom, it just is a custom slide. I'm running the Inforce APLC on it. I really like this whole, this whole package. I have the RMR 07 in flat dark earth, so this is the adjustable LED RMR. It has the, um, the same rear night sight as the Urban uh, CZ75 Urban series does. So these are the raised rear night sights. And then this is a, what does it say? This is a 16 Trijicon front blade for it. So this, actually, this gun with the irons is a lower thirds view. I don't know if you can see that. I can line it up here with the red dot. But you can see it's a lower thirds co-witness. So with that being said, this gun shoots two inches high at 10 yards, but that is definitely not a problem when you're defensive center mass shooting. Um, you will still get uh, stop a dude impacts. So I left the grip factory. I think the grip is way more grippy than it needs to be, which is funny because I usually stipple every gun that I get. But this gun is just unbelievably grippy. It's never going to slip out of your hands. Some people complain that this is too aggressive. If you squeeze it tight, uh, it does leave the neural marks there. Uh, another modification I made to it is I did bevel this rear tang. Um, I shortened the pin and then I beveled the tang because similar to like the Canic TP9 series, when I ride it as high as I do, my thumb knuckle makes contact there and I can get some acute blistering and wear. So I rounded that off. It's definitely solved the problem. Sometimes wearing gloves I still have the issue because I do ride my guns higher wearing gloves. Um, a lot of people have argued that this gun has uh, stiff mag releases and sti stiff slide stops. Um, I have not had any of those issues. Um, we, we were part of the pre-production program so we actually got a pre-production gun. We had no issues with that. We have three of these. Um, you put a couple boxes of ammo through it and you do your reloads. This loosens right up. Same thing with the slide stop. Um, the gun also has an auto uh, slide release feature. When you slam the gun home, or slam the mag in home, the slide will auto drop. Um, I haven't heard of anyone having really any issues with that, of fa having failures. It wouldn't probably be a mechanical failure. It might be like an overloaded mag or really dirty ammo if you ever had a malfunction with the auto release. But people with the Gen 1, um, Smith & Wesson M&Ps did not really have any issues either. I have the Inforce APLC here. It flushes right up to the muzzle. Um, it's a great light for carry. I'm also running the Cajun Gunworks stainless steel guide rod. I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, this is an uncaptured stainless steel guide rod. This one's actually for the P07, but it does fit the P10C. I just took my factory um, guide rod, clipped the end off of it, and then reused the ribbon spring. Um, some people will argue that that is not the course to go, but I have almost 10,000 rounds on this gun and I have not had any problems. Um, the gun takes down, the gun takes down just like a Glock. And you can see the internals are pretty similar. Um, it's it's VP9-esque the way the um, upper, the slide is manufactured, but it's a very robust inner. The rails are longer um, than most polymer frame guns. And you can see here, the unsupported barrel is extremely big and hefty. Uh, I definitely love this gun. The barrel is extremely thick as well. And just, it is, again, bomb-proof. Um, you can see inside here, I don't know if you can see, but the mag release is what I'm moving around a little bit. Um, because it's fully ambidextrous, it's almost like a tooth that sticks out, and it engages this slot here. The P10C mags are made on the same machines that the P07 mags are made from. Uh, it's the same stamp, same brake operation, same pattern. These mags, the P10C mags, do fit in the CZP07, but not vice versa. They don't have that cutout, um, but you can use them. 
Um, and again, you can get these, I believe you can get these on Mekar for like 25 bucks or, you know, you can save money. Uh, CZ went a more affordable route for consumers with a high quality mag by doing the Mekar route. So back to this gun, it goes back together. Anyway, that was a pile of CZs that just fell off the table. Um, all right, so let's go to trigger. It's got one of the best factory triggers, in my opinion. Um, the only qualm I do have is the safety comb here. You can see I can actually stick my finger underneath it. The same goes for when you pull. The same thing goes when you pull the trigger. If you ride your trigger low and you squeeze that shot, you get a little bit of trigger pinch. Um, so after putting hundreds and hundreds of rounds through your gun and running it hard, you sometimes build up a little callus there. Um, I know Cajun Gunworks and a couple other companies are working on an aftermarket shoe for this gun, which will make this gun way more enjoyable. But for a factory gun, for I think they're selling MSRP for $490 in the flat dark earth con uh, configuration, it's the most bang for your buck. And even with this RMR, we're talking a gun that functions like a $3,000 Glock for under, uh, you know, around a thousand bucks if you have your RMR on it. So let's go to trigger, press, bang, resets real short, there's no creep, you hit that wall immediately, bang. So one of the smoothest and easiest to shoot um, triggers. I like it a lot. Anyway, if you have any questions, check out the comment section, click subscribe, like, um, be critical if you feel like it, but we will answer your questions if you have them. And as for the slide cut, everyone's going to ask who did it. Uh, we can't tell you who did it, but we do recommend Cajun Gunworks and Parker Mountain Machine for slide work. Guys, click like, subscribe, check us out, leave a comment, we love to hear feedback.